All right, so I am reporting live from the Tegan Adventures headquarters right here, and I know I'm behind on this whole quest system or research, as they're calling it in Pokemon Go. Uh, I have just completed step three of eight last week. I know some of you, or most of you rather, have already caught Mew. But for me, I'm working on step 4 of 8, which I will be starting on today. In case you're wondering, I'll put the clip where I complete step 3 of 8 right now on screen. So, the prerequisites for step 4 of 8 of A Mythical Discovery are Evolve 20 Pokemon, earn 5 candies with your buddy, and earn a Silver Canto Medal, which, uh, the Silver Canto Medal completed already so I just have left five candies with my buddy which is gonna be pretty tough since I have Ralts as my buddy but anyways it is still achievable in game evolve 20 Pokemon uh, yes I'll do that on the mass evolution next month I think May 1st of May yeah May Day special if time permits hopefully I will be able to complete a mythical discovery before I start chapter 2 of Taken Adventures. So, uh, speaking of having a really huge backlog, I actually got my first ever research breakthrough on Community Day, which was the 15th of April. I think now the uh, encounter Pokemon is still Moltres, if I'm not wrong. So, you actually get uh, a few perks you already know this Stardust Berries, Ultra Balls, and what a, whatever you've gotten so far in your uh, breakthrough boxes. So, anyway, I will be putting the uh, clip after this one so you will be able to see me opening up my first ever research breakthrough box. Actually, let's do that right now. Alright, in case you've been wondering what I've been doing for the past two days or so, I have actually been shiny hunting. Shiny hunting for Whalmer. Yes, shiny Whalmer is in Pokemon Go right now as part of the Earth Day celebration that happened earlier last Sunday. So shiny Whalmer is a lively purple color, just like a shiny Dratini. And not only that, you actually get triple stardust from catching a water, grass, or ground type Pokemon. So be sure to shiny check every single Wilma. And if you want to stock up on stardust, catch those Wilmas as well, or any grass or ground type Pokemon. Keep in mind that these rewards will only last up till the 30th of April, 1 p.m. Pacific time, which converts to about 4 a.m in Singapore on the 1st of May. Oh yes, and speaking of the 1st of May, Zapdos has been confirmed to appear out of the research breakthrough boxes for the month of May. So, 
starting from the 1st of May, if you get your 7th day stamp for your field research tasks, you'll be able to get access to Zapdos starting from the 1st of May. Moltres will no longer be in the research breakthrough box, so if you want to get your Zapdos, or if you haven't got your Zapdos, the month of May is the perfect time to get your Zapdos. So I guess I'll be ending the video right now here. So I mean, technically I will be picking this up again tomorrow, but it will be in a separate video. So for now, this has been Taken Adventures and I shall see you in the next video. Peace out.